Hey guys, Coach Chad again. Hey, um, the next thing that I wanted to show you is uh, what's going to be called our 1-4 set. So you remember that we already kind of took a look at um, our triangle set and a few of the plays we're going to run from that. Now I'm going to show you the 1-4 and here's what that looks like. Okay, we'll go back to the fact that we usually have a point guard that brings the ball up. We usually have a couple of wing players. And then in a normal set, you would have a couple of post players who play down by the basket. Okay, in a 1-4 high set, these guys pop up and end up about here, okay? They call it a 1-4 high because low would mean underneath the basket. High means up at the top of the court, uh, out, you know, closer to the three-point line, but we're actually kind of in line with where the free throw line would be, I guess. But we got one guy here, we got four in a straight line, so that's a 1-4 set, okay? Now, I'm going to show you what's called our post option. Post option just means who we're going to start the play with by passing the ball to. So we're going to pass the ball to the post player right there. Okay, now he has the ball. As soon as we pass the ball to one of the post players, the wingman on that side makes some kind of a little move to get rid of a defender, but takes a cut for underneath the basket. Okay, in the meantime, when that pass was made, the opposite post player drops down inside the key almost directly under the basket, but not quite. So he's going to be standing here. And the reason he's going to be standing there is to set a screen for the guy that's making that, that wide cut. Okay, So ball goes here. This guy drops down to set a screen. This guy cuts back door looking for a pass. He comes off of this screen if he didn't get a pass. And he's going to swing on over to where he's here. Okay, So this guy catches a pass. He looks for that. If it's not there... The point guard, the guy who made the original pass, is going to come off of him, using him for a screen, accepting a handoff from him, and he's going to run shoulder to shoulder with this guy who has the ball so that his defender can't fit between them. Okay, So that's going to be an automatic screen that he creates by running shoulder to shoulder and trying to get a handoff. Okay, So once this guy has received the pass, he's got option one, which is a pass to this guy. He's got option two, which is a handoff to that guy. If this guy does not get a handoff, he's going to back out, and he's going to end up over there. Okay? The guy with the ball, who tried to make two passes but wasn't able, is going to dribble into the center above the three-point three line. Okay? So now what's going to happen is the guy who was the outside far wing, as soon as he sees this dribble start, he's going to take off. He now is going to run along to the outside looking for a handoff. Okay, So again, we started by getting this guy the ball, and then he's got option one, he's got option two, and now he dribbles in and then has option three. In the meantime, here's what this guy does. Remember back to this post player who dropped down and set that screen? Soon as he sets that screen and this guy is clear, he now puts his butt towards the underside of the basket, turns around with his hands out here, and says, give me the ball. Okay? So this guy, again, he has the ball. He looks for a pass there. He looks for a handoff here. It doesn't happen, and this guy backs out. Now, he should be able to be looking at this guy who's directly under the basket, hands out this way, has his defender pushed out with his rear end so that a quick pass can come here and he can turn around and do a layup. Does that make sense?